Good evening, Hold wrestling fans. Hold on there, Santa Claus. What's good, wrestling fans? It's your boy Jay, the Wiz Kid of Pro Wrestling, and I'm here with... Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling, and, and this, this is, is Evolution of Pro wrestling. wrestling. As you can see, my partner is here. A little raspy. Uh, we were thinking of canceling today due to he's a little under the weather. But uh, he, uh, he wanted to put on the show for the fans, and that's what we're going to do today. Today's going to be an amazing topic, an amazing uh, discussion that we're going to have, along with some... Um, uh, top news. Hey, yo. <laughs> What's going on, uh, Jays? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. <coughs> Excuse me. Today we got a lot to discuss, um, but first we want to talk about a somber note. Um, just a few hours ago, with the wrestling world, the wrestling world found out that Lenny Poffo, aka formerly known as the Genius, in past in the WWF, WWE, um, passed away a couple of hours ago. You're, what's going on, Brian? What's going on, man? Not feeling oozy today. <laughs> He's not feeling oozy. He's oozy. He's oozy. He's just out of it. He'll be. He'll, he'll get into it once he gets into it. He'll be all right. Um, but yes, Lenny Poffo, aka the Genius, the brother of uh, the late great Randy Macho Man Savage, also uh, Randy Poffo, um, passed away today. Um, we don't know the circumstances to the death of Lenny Poffo. We're still fi trying to find out like, some information ourselves. Um, we'll bring you breaking news as we go along and continue today um, with the passing of Lenny Poffo. So it's just a, it's a damn, it's getting bad in the wrestling world, Jay. A lot of people, like Jay Briscoe just passed and now Lenny Poffo just passed. Like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, like, it's, it's very... Finally, the brothers are fight, uh, finally reunited. God bless them both. Yes, yeah. it's a, it's sad though. You know, he was just he was just taking pictures the other day. Like I had him as a friend on Facebook, and he was just taking um, pictures. Uh, Dave, Dave, evening guys, get well, Jay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, he'll get. He's a tough kid. Tough thank kid. He'll you. get better. Yeah. Um, but it's sad. It's like yeah, what's going on? It's, like what's, you know, what do you think is, is going on? It is very sad, you know. But unfortunately, you know, things like this happen. You know, we. We live, and then, you know, we pass on. It's just, you know, we never know when somebody else's time is going to come. Some comes before more than others, and some comes later than others. So, you know, like he said, you know, God bless both of them because he is reunited with his brother. But, you know, it's sad, you know, that we had to see another wrestling legend go. So, yeah, you know, it is it's, really it's, sad. It's sad. But, it's, it's a sad thing to see. And, you know... We saw, we, I, I grew up, you know, you didn't really know much about it. I grew up watching The Genius. Um, oh, he was, say, he was funny. Really he was so funny him. with that character, but he was able to wrestle. Before, he was leaping Lenny Poffo. Mm. He was a good wrestler. You know, he would throw his frisbee, and um, he would, uh, <laughs> he said, Jay hurt me. He said, continue good vibes to his girls. Yeah, that, that would hurt. For Jay Briscoe when he passed, that 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 was tough. Yeah, that's you know what I mean. That was really tough, and um, we're actually that's gonna bring us to our topic of the night, um, which we will reveal towards the uh, ending of our wrestling news. But it's it's like when you talk about leaping Lenny Poffo, it's like it, he was a legend, like how you say. He was able to play that heel character persona. Yes, him exactly. Him and Mr. Perfect were perfect. Hey, Russell, what's going on, man? Hey, he said, how you feeling? See, everybody knows you're feeling the certain you're feeling sick, you're under the weather. Oh, but I told right. you to put on a good show, yeah, you know? I'm okay, you know. Decided to come on. I wasn't gonna come on the show today, but you know, I'm feeling a little better. So why not, you know? Talk about talk about some wrestling, you know? Yep. Talk about some, talk about some WWE, or not even just WWE, you know, just wrestling in just general. Just wrestling in general. Just wrestling. You know? But, again, they're dropping like flies. They're dropping uh -huh. like flies, and our condolences from the evolution of pro wrestling to the Poffo family, you know, and may they continue on. You know, um, so Jaden. Father. This past week, this past Saturday... The Royal Rumble. But before we get into that, there was some breaking news that I put up on TikTok this uh, couple of, uh, probably yesterday. Apparently, Tom Brady has been invited to join them at WrestleMania 39. What kind of bullshit fucking in, shit is that? Like, join them as in what? Like, <laughs> just to fight. <laughs> 
who would he possibly fight in WrestleMania? I don't know. I don't think no. Tom Brady's like 47. Like he just retired from the NFL. I don't know. Why are they trying I don't to? Know. Who? I don't know. Man, I don't believe that Triple H was the one that did this. Like that had to be a Vince McMahon. I don't thing. know. Cause, like, <laughs> come on now. Why would Triple H invite? Cause, cause that it, it might not even be Triple H. That's probably a fucking That's Vince McMahon saying. shit. That's probably a Vince like, McMahon. Like, come on, man. Vince versus Tom, <laughs> Vince versus How Tom you Brady. That, that <laughs> hell, fucking that no. Was a hell no. Vince could barely get in the ring the last time at Mania. Like he couldn't nah. even sell a stunner. Mm -mm. Hell no. Is CM Punk going to WrestleMania? He better not be. Nah, nah. Keep keep CM Punk out. We don't need Punk. Put him up against McCaffrey. I saw no. I saw I saw that interview with Seth Rollins when Seth Rollins did that interview. Uh, apparently, he said some shit about Cody Rhodes. That Cody Rhodes uh, Wait, is, Cody is, Rhodes? is yeah. He says that Cody Rhodes is, is all about himself. I thought it was and all CM, that shit. I thought it was CM Punk. And, and you no, know, he said the same. He said about CM Punk too. He says CM Punk is he he's a he's a asshole. He's a jerk. Well, he's not Nobody lying. wants him. He's, he says, stay, stay the fuck out of WWE. Don't come here. <laughs> Bye. It's bye, Felicia. Don't, 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 <laughs> well, don't he's come not, here. He's not exactly wrong. Jesus no, because all he does is whine. Mess right he, they, Listen, CM Punk is not the way he used to be. Yeah, no. He can't. The talent's not there no more. No. I'm sorry. Retire, my brother. Retire yeah. while you still can. Yeah, he said he's a cancer. He, yeah, that's exactly that's what he, that's what he, he said. That was his he exact words. You know, he that's how bad that. the man can't stand CM Punk. Uh, Phil he Brooks. He called him by his name, Phil Brooks. Phil Brooks. Like, you know, when a man is calling you by his by your, your government name, you know he fucking hates you. Yeah. He doesn't like you. So, CM Scam. <laughs> <laughs> he know he... He's, yeah, he definitely doesn't like CM No, Punk. he can't stand them. So, the, no mm. CM Punk. Ah, I mean, we don't need. We don't need. I'm out. No. <laughs> we don't. But, need we don't need him. Jaden, we are discussing wrestling news that we were starting off with. That also, uh, we forgot to announce that we are M A mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> I'm out. <mouth. laughs> also, breaking news: Vince McMahon apparently is being sued again. From an attorney by shareholders again, again, like he. That's not even. That's not even a surprise to me anymore. Like, it, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, what, what, what is it going to take for people to understand? Like, Vince McMahon has to go. Yeah, he he go. cannot be a part of WWE anymore. No more. Like, leave it alone. I don't know why he doesn't. Like, understand. just leave. Bye. 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 carajo. Don't stay here. I don't know why he doesn't understand that either. Like he no 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 no. Cancer as well. A hundred. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me answer this comment we just got. Austin turned down Mania. Also, The Rock. Listen, let me tell let me let me tell you something, Bradley. I am an old school dude. I love old school. I love the eighties, the nineties, attitude ever, all that shit. But you don't. We don't need WWE. Does not need Stone Cold or The Rock. You got Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. First time ever a fucking Rhodes is main eventing at WrestleMania, mm -hmm. for one. You got Rhea Ripley, the Royal Rumble winner, and Charlotte Flair. You're eventually going to have Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against the Usos for the titles. And many other great matches. You do not need, you do not need Stone Cold Steve Austin you don't need to, you don't need any legends basically. Like we got a packed house in WrestleMania no. right now. No, like, that's what Mania, I'm saying. It's pretty much set. Mania There's seven matches pretty say. much Mania, set at WrestleMania. Mania is right. You don't really need right Austin. Right, exactly. As much as I would love for Austin to come into the into WrestleMania and appearance, appearance make it from the legends here and there is cool, but keep them out of the ring. They're out here breaking their Exactly. <laughs> for instance, up so, yeah, up, exactly. supposedly, supposedly, we don't know how true this is, because you're walking with a cane, because supposedly it says I'm not gonna shoot here versus Owens or Zayn. It's, yeah. it's it says it says that Hulk Hogan apparently is paralyzed from the waist down from a, an operation that he can, he can't even walk no more. That he uses a cane, but it hey. says paralyzed. But you're still walking with a cane. Well, that's not paralyzed. Then. He, he says he has no feeling in his legs. Well, then it's some sort of condition of uh, a bad botch of of, uh, of um, some surgery that happened. Um, I don't know. It was just like ugh. Well, it doesn't really matter because I don't think Hulk Hogan's ever getting back into the no, ring. No, he's never getting back in the ring. But you know what does matter? That our friend Sherrod comes.
content all over social media. Bring your friends, your cousins, anybody. Let's bring them in and let's talk. Fucking you know, wrestling. Honestly, I was a little disappointed when Gunther did not win the Royal Rumble. Listen, like, listen. Li- the, like, Royal like, Rumble, <laughs> the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble was impressive. I'm was. not going to lie. It, it was. was a good Royal Rumble. Gunther? <sighs> Gunther. You were good, my brother. I was a little upset that he didn't win the Rumble because he was number one and he was doing so good, man. <laughs> Bro, you saw that coming with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> no, Bobby yo. Versus listen. Bobby, Belair versus Becky versus Bailey versus. Yeah, Bobby. exactly. We you know, it, it's going to be a packed house. Listen, go, no, Gunther would play great. Oh, Oscar. Oscar old school. Badass. Oh, man, yeah. Badass, Oscar like she, she, she was that. sadistic, had that sadistic komoko, uh, uh, kimono. Like, kimono mask, kimono. like wowzers. Like in the Bray Wyatt match, Bray Wyatt match was um, it was short. But it they, was short, but, but the ending, the it ending cool, made though. it good. The ending it, made it, it was good. cool though. I, I was see like, where they're going with this. I see where they're going with this. They they re- mind you, I'm pretty sure this is all of Bray Wyatt's doing. Yeah, like, this has I'm nothing. Sure. This is nothing I'm like sure. to do with creative. Mm-hmm. Like this is br- like Bray Wyatt's entire story. Like, Listen, the match, yeah. the the Royal Rumble, the men's Royal Rumble. There was a lot of surprises in the Rumble. For instance. Brock Lesnar got eliminated in three minutes. I'm glad. And again, fucktard went off script. <laughs> he did? He went off script. He went off script and started doing all types of other shit. Uh, of getting mad. <laughs> grabbing referees. Like, oh, that was literally what you, that was that was, script? That oh, was all script. I did not know So, that. like, what the hell are you doing? Like, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Dang. You know, and, and he's, he's got some backstage heat for it. You know what I mean? But um, I'm glad. I'm glad. You know why? Because they let the younger stars shine that night. That was what the I'm purpose was. You let the younger Logan people. Logan Paul really surprised Yo, me. Yo, that shit with Ricochet and Logan Paul. That was insane. That clothesline? Yeah. That clash? Holy cow. Listen, listen, I thought when I first seen that match, I thought they were just going to both like do a little flip over the ropes and they were going to stay. Damn, $3 million dollars he got paid for that shit? Dang, I'll take a jump rope and I'll do a, a, a flying oh, torpedo nah, for three minutes. Flying... I'll be hurting like hell when I hit the floor, in the but. Air, in the air. I'd be three million dollars richer. Shit. In the air was. Just crazy. to fly in the air? Shit. Rollins. Yeah. There's this talk. There is talk. Logan Paul and Rollins at WrestleMania. It was mentioned. The seed was planted on Monday Night Raw. Will it happen? I think so. I think it should. I think that would be an amazing match. I think so. Logan Paul can. can I, I can't stand the motherfucker, but I mean, listen, listen. This is a better way to put it. I can't stand him as a person, but as a wrestler, as he's a great. great. No, he's, he's but he great. knows how to work exactly. your nerves. Exactly. As a he knows what to do. But as a person, as a person, I don't like him either. No. As a per, as a real person out no. of wrestling, I despise him. <laughs> But in the wrestling well, he's a company, social media icon. I'm about to say in the wrestling company and social media, Logan Paul is me. doing his thing. Bradley says Cody needs to win uh, just to make a mania moment for his family. Of course, I agree. Of course, like, I mean he is the first, you know. Of course, yep. C was planted first the moment he eliminated him. him. Yep. The moment he eliminated him, that was it. That was C planted. Bang, bang, boom. That's it. But um, the Royal Rumble was spectacular. The women's Royal Rumble was also good too. Rhea Ripley from number one. From that's number what, one, surprised, that surprised me. No, it is. It, you you on it, son? You okay? You're yawning. You're, you're, he's a little Betty by. He's a, I, I gave him a little better, medication to make him better. You know. Mm-hmm. I ain't saying nothing. Listen, I see your hair. I see your curls. Just because I'm sick doesn't mean we can't throw down. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and we're back to our schedule. Do you have regular schedule pack? I said that old Boston shit. <laughs> anyway, back to our program. Um. Ray and Dominic, I want to see that match. I definitely want. I'll get, listen, I don't care happen. what anybody says. I don't care what anybody teases this boy. Dominic Mysterio is working the character, living the character. He makes me laugh, like, I, like literally. I smell a stunner, Jay. Yeah, Dad's asking for a stunner. Uh, yeah, from me to one of him. No, no, from me to you. Just because I'm sick doesn't mean I can't stun him <gasps> still. <laughs> sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> um, Elimination Chamber, Beth and Edge versus Judgment Day. I'm not going to lie. Finn and Rhea. I would like to see that. I would like to see that. 
definitely I like to see that happen. Mind you, like uh, part of this, you know, obviously part of the storyline, but uh, Rhea Ripley That's won good... and she was injured. Too. <sighs> so here's a question from James. Oh. Which one, which chair shot was better? Rollins or Sami Zayn's? When, Ro- when Rollins turned on the shield. I feel like Rollins because back then... Okay, in terms of... Okay, James, James. Reaction by fans. A, no, no, no. James, I have a better question. In terms of what? Like, is it in ter- Yeah, is it in terms of reaction by the fans? Is it in terms of the actual impact when he slapped him? Or, like, what? What? what is it? Like... Dom is definitely maturing, uh, his, character. maturing his character. Yeah. But, he James, sure what, is. in terms of what, though? Like, uh... What do you What do you think? I would have to say. I yeah, would say okay. okay and so in a in, in a ask, shock value, a I would sh- say Rollins. Yes, man. in a shocking I would value. Say Rollins. Yes, but from a fan's reaction and pop, Sammy. Okay, I I think Sammy Zayn. I think that's because they kind of like Sammy Zayn's pop. It was when he hit Roman. It wasn't really a bad pop though. It was more like no, they wanted it, him to. That, do that's that. what I'm saying. See, but, okay, because they of, want him. They want that character. They want the character terms, to build. Okay, in terms of the fan pop, then yes, I definitely give that to Sammy. But in terms of like shock, okay, like, actually, shock like, wise, okay, pop, no, 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 shocking wise, I still give that to Rollins. Pop wise, yes, Z- Sammy Zayn had a bigger pop because. Like I said, they wanted him to do that. The fans, you know, they were like, See, like finally it came to that point. You know, I feel like yeah, still that though, the fans... Up the, the, that you breaking up the bloodline. But I feel like the fans were more shocked at the fact that Rollins did no, that because now, back then the shield was, you know, they no, were tight. Now, that, so. now, it, yeah. it, it tests it what he could be done now. You see? You hear it. You hear, you hear Roman telling him to do it. Look at him. They head to head. Sammy's getting pissed off, but then he calms down. This is when this is when Sammy decides, all right, it's time to go to war with Owens, not against them. Now hear this reaction. Do you hear that pop? That pop? Yeah, that That's was, magnificent. That was, yeah. Like, absolutely magnificent. I feel like Sami Zayn, like, after all these... And look at Jay, and then Jay walks out. Jay walks out, out of the event. So, Roman faces Sami Zayn at Elimination Chamber, and then Sami loses, of course, and then Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn Decide to go after the Usos. So then, what would happen with the Universal Title? I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of speculation going on about think, that. That Sammy might win the Universal, and Cody might win the WWE. I think that should happen. I don't I, know. It's, I it's a, a lot of speculation. I have a better ch- I have a better chance of that going on. Like I feel like since they were to do that, it doesn't make any sense to go after the Usos because yeah. look at uh, I think that was Jay Jay's look at Jay's reaction to when. Sammy hit Roman with the chair. He didn't even want to be in the ring anymore. He completely left. Which means I agree, you know, he probably probably feels guilty that he did it and you know he backed him up, but he's also like, you know, I still feel like, you know, Sammy Zayn is my brother. Exactly. It's my brother. So, <laughs> that's why I said I feel like it'll make more sense if he was to go for the universal title and then obviously Cody goes for the um WWE, WWE, WWE and title, and then that's yes. when we finally start to see the downfall and the breaking up of the Well, but that's when you should also see that uh, separate both titles. Exactly. Put two title, put a title in each brand. Exactly. Make some fighting champions. Don't do this Brock Lesnar shit you're doing and Roman Reigns taking fucking days off. We need champions on the shows. Oh, thank you. I want to say, but I feel like right now, out. right now they're at perfect, <laughs> they're at perfect time. Or just go back to the old days, James. One title. If Cody Rhodes wins, he says he's going to bring the winged title back to the WWE. One title. Go to both shows. That's it. That's what you need to do. Stop this brand shit uh, split. 
Like it was back better back then. I hate, I hate this brand crap, man. It was better back then when you would go from show to show. It was better back. You then. know what I mean? But I guess they want to keep fans in suspense still uh, I mean, of what the hell's going on. It's not really like a suspense thing though. Like his, they just want to keep people in in suspense and shock. You know. Uh, I guess. But um, that doesn't really. Uh, I but, don't know. But when you talk about shock, Jaden. You want to talk about something that's very touchy, very sensitive topic in professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's a bad one. As we said today, as they mentioned today on uh, social media, Lenny Papo passed away today. We don't know the circumstances. We don't know. uh, Yet we don't. Yeah, we don't know what's the issue going on right now. Um, But it's. It's unfortunate the way pro wrestlers pass. Yeah. And the way it happens, um, it's unfortunate. You know, sometimes by... Very unfortunate. Sometimes by very natural causes, some by accidents, some by not accidents. Um, We do again say, viewer discretion is advised for mature audiences only. Mm -hmm. This is a very touchy and controversial topic. Mm -hmm. If you are not comfortable with it, we uh, we will not be upset with you. You feel free to mute us, whatever you want, <laughs> whatever you want to do. But um, we or we we will be talking about the most shocking deaths in professional wrestling, and there's been many. There's been many that some never saw coming, some that actually. New were coming. Like, Actually, from all the deaths I've heard in wrestling, I, I didn't see any of them. No, and, and it was shocking. It was shocking the way they come. You know, like today from Lenny Poffo, we you were just seeing him posting photos on Facebook. That's what just I mean. one day ago, I'm yesterday, saying, no, cherish, and then your boom, love, he's gone. Your loved ones while they're around. You like it's 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 leave. crazy. And then um, look at prime example, Gino Hernandez. Gino Hernandez was one of the most, if not. The most awesome heel in the in professional wrestling back then, like holy shit, he was he was a a younger version of Nature Boy, only twenty eight years old. The man knew how to play his character. He knew how to strut and cut and do all that bullshit. Like he lived his character, but unfortunately, he got into some crazy shit. He's in Dark Side of, re- of the Ring of Wrestling. Um, that they um. They saw what was going on. They saw they, they showed what had happened with Gino Hernandez. Um, if Gino Hernandez was alive in the WWE era, I don't know what the fuck would have happened with him. Gino was doing Flair before Flair. Exactly. Exactly. Like he was awesome. His promos were awesome. His heel persona was awesome. Like shit. Like if he would have been in the WWE. With that persona, oh man, it would have been awesome. Brian Pillman, Brian, you, you you have heard of Brian Pillman? I've heard of Brian. Pillman. Brian Pillman. Um, apparently, Brian Pillman was found unresponsive in his hotel room. Mm. Apparently, it was due to an accidental overdose of pain meds. He was in a lot of pain. Um, this man had a lot of, had surgery mm. in his leg because he had he got into a car accident. Mm. So it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. The Von Erichs, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, Brian Pillman was definitely, uh, he has some demons. He has some de- This is the thing about professional wrestling, what people don't understand. There's entertainers, there's, re- there's wrestlers, and but you got to understand, they are wrestlers and they are entertainers, but they are also human. They hurt. They hurt. They bleed. They go in pain. Why? To please us, us the fans. I want to say it's not as fake as you think. It's exactly. not. It's not fake. Scripts. It's nothing fake. No, I mean scripts might be fake. You know the the pun, the few things. Everything fake, like listen. A lot of things. It's are, predetermined. I want to say. Let's lot. put it that way. Yeah. It's predetermined. It's, it's you know who's gonna win. Exactly. But there is nothing fucking fake about this. No, nothing no. like it, it, it. You see them take the mat. You see them take the bumps. And for instance, look at the bump that happened to um, Draws. Draws, he's not dead, but he took. Surgeries. No, surgeries are not fake. Surgeries are not fake. They are real. They are very real. And and for instance, The Undertaker. Undertaker can barely walk now because of so many surgeries he had from professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. 
And one one per se that took that the British Bulldog, David Boy Smith, he took a lot of bumps. Unfortunately, he took a really nasty bump at War Games, uh. and that screwed him up. That fucked him up, and that was it. He got hooked on medication, and then one day he just he passed. He was only thirty four years old. Why? Because his body was all fucked up. It was gone. It was bad, you know, and. We mentioned the they were mentioned the Von Erics. The Von Erics were the wrestling family back then in the seventies, mid eighties, give or take. There but was like five of them, right? There was at least five of them. You know, one died in Japan, unfortunately, due to something in the stomach. Mm. The rest of them died of suicide. Mm. Unfortunately, that's a very touchy word. Very. But they felt they were doing wrong to the family. They were doing wrong to the family, and there's only one brother left. Only one brother left. That's crazy. Kevin Von Erich. And he has two amazing sons that are actually uh, practice wrestling. Mr. God. Perfect also. He was... Uh, God bless him. And Rick Rude. They were best friends. Rick Rude and ben, Mr. Perfect were best friends. Also died of, of, of uh, heart attacks due to pain medication. You know, Eddie Guerrero, heart failure. Eddie Guerrero's death hit professional wrestling like a shit ton of bricks. Like nobody, <coughs> absolutely nobody was expecting that one. Not even myself. I, see, I was. I, I, I believe I that day. At the time, so. I know. I believe that day. Brian texted me that he had passed away. Mm. And I'm like, holy shit! I'm like, wow! I'm like, that's crazy. Yep, exactly. Um, Hardcore Holly um, broke his neck in 2003 when he landed on his neck because of botch by Brock Lesnar. Oh jeez! You know, and it really fucked up, fucked him up bad. Mm. You know, like these wrestlers, they hurt, they hurt for real. You know, but another death that was insane, very insane, was Chris Benoit. No one will ever, ever forget that incident that happened with Chris Benoit. Never. It's unfortunate what happened to the family. You know, but he... He had his demons, too. You know, he had his after, demons, too. After Eddie died, you know, Eddie was the piece that kept them together. Yeah. And after he passed away, that was... Oh, it. Owen Hart was, was, was another Owen Hart. Owen Hart was that crazy. Was a, that was crazy. The way he, he... That accident that happened with Owen Hart, the way he fell down 75 feet dead, like, that's... Uh, Oof, Bruce wow. Bruiser Brody was another one. Yeah, Bruiser Brody, when he got Bruiser stabbed Brody to death by stabbed, Invader. Yep. Um... These things happen. You know, it's unfortunate that it does happen in professional wrestling that people die. It does. You know, and... But like you said, they're, they're humans just like us. They, they, they suffer. They suffer. They suffer. They bleed just like we bleed. Yes, Brian, I did. I did see that, Brian. Brian says, you guys saw what Heyman said in the video about Ben Wilde. Absolutely, because it was, it was a fan that was heckling it. Heckling him. I, th I think that's the video. Is that the video you're talking about? Um, he was talking to the crowd. And there was somebody uh, telling, my boy, my boy. Oh, that's my boy. And he he said it out of the top three in the world, greatest performers. As a performer, as a person, yeah, he was terrible. He was pissed. Like, he was really pissed. I'm not going to lie to you on that one. Like, he, he was pissed. I, I don't blame him. I mean, I would be pissed if I heard that somebody did that too, so... Yeah, but he's not wrong though. As a performer, Chris Benoit was amazing. He no, was, he was. He was wow. No, he he, he, he was he was a jaw dropper in the ring. No, he was de like, no, he was definitely definitely. But like Heyman said, you know, and out of that ring, it was something it was something different. He said, as a person, fuck him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Exactly. He said it just like that. Mm -hmm. I, I as seen that, I seen that on YouTube. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Yeah. Like you, you don't know, you don't understand. This is a human being. These are human beings that that had their life taken, you know, and that's something you don't play with uh -uh. at all. And it, it breaks played, my heart. It played breaks played my heart that it had to ha it had to go down that way. Let's see if we can find it here. Since you want to keep on yelling out, Michael. Let me see. I think that's the part right there. Work all you want, but I'll give you. But you know what? You can admire. You can admire his work. Okay, here we go. If you can hear it. Who's saying my boy? Why? 
Why? Yeah, you can admire his work all you want, but, but you know what? You can admire his work all you want, but I'll give you my take on it, since you want to keep on yelling out my boy. Three people died in that house that night. Three, I don't care about CTE. Three people died in that house that yeah. night. Yeah, unfortunately, Only Dave. one person had the choice behind it. Yeah. The other two didn't have a choice to die. So if that's your boy, fuck you. You see? That's how he felt. Listen to this. As a performer amongst the five greatest I've ever seen in my entire life. See? One of the greatest out of the five out of top five. He's not he did and I'm not and that's not hype. He's for real. But Chris Ben like, was he one was of the he Elite. was one of the greatest but performers person, I've ever seen, but as a person, he was terrible. No, that was a terrible thing. Yeah, but unfortunately, you know, things happen in professional wrestling. One person in particular, Adrian Adonis, old school wrestler, he died in a car accident. Unfortunately, oh wow. Um, that's what I'm saying. Professional wrestling, people think that professional wrestling, yeah, you know, it's fake and it's just, yeah. Heyman was he was yeah. Really he spit some real he shit was, there was because talking. that's what it was. It was yeah. real. Talking. That's what you needed to do. Yeah. You can't say I understand. Listen, like I said, we are huge fans, especially myself, Brian, all these people on the chat. We're huge fans, but keep the shit in there. Like jump your daughter to motorcycle accident. Yeah, I man, oh, I that didn't was even terrible. Know he passed away. Yeah, man. he he died a long a long ago. Wow. You know, it, it was it's a lot of stuff. Like you gotta understand that these wrestlers put their all on the line just to please us and excuse me you guys got to give them more recognition even when you think they suck like hell they even still, when you think they try they know, try they their try. hardest wrestling is not easy like look take how it fucking from, long. take it from me and dad for example oh, wrestling shit. is not easy it hurts <laughs> It Whoever hurts. told you punches and bumps don't fucking it hurt. Hurts. Dumb shits hurt. My Trust son hit me with a me. mini Ninja Turtle chair on my back and hit my bone. That shit hurt for a week. When I finished the match, I, I couldn't even fucking get off off the sofa. I had to roll myself I off had, the sofa, slammed take a shower, slammed and then slide. roll myself off the bed the next day for work. I slammed on a slide. The first match we had, he did like this little move with my eyes. I felt like my eyes were about to go like, down. The shit down. hurts, man. Trust me. The it shit is hurts. Not, it is not a walk in the park. No. Wrestling. Much respect to these professional stars. Wrestling that hurts, These man. wrestlers that give it their all and, and do what the hell they need to do. Because shit that hurts. Yes. I'm very but, uh, bad. But anyway, uh, professional wrestling, it, it's, it's like, it, it's, you got to understand that when they, when they put in their bodies on the line, Yes, I remember hearing... Wait, wait a minute, hold on. Let me read this comment. I remember hearing about a kid killed his sister in Florida while performing a powerbomb on a table. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. They they tell you, look, leave this to the professionals. Don't try this at home. Like, we tried at home, but we know the limits. We're like, you're talking over. Like, that. Jay, be careful. Don't, I'm going to say, Dad's not going to, like, powerbomb no, me through a no, table. No, absolutely not. Absolutely Unless not. Unless there's, like, really... Like powerful cushion at the bottom, that yeah. Won't do something no, no, crazy no. Like we make that. sure we do good. We nah, nah. hell no. I, I, I still say. need to go to work. <laughs> exactly. I still need to go. To, I still need to walk. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I need no, to walk. no, 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 no. But um, Jaden, in your opinion, in your opinion, who do you, th which wrestling death you think was the most shocking that you've ever heard of? Okay, so since, wait a minute. Hold on. Before you even answer that damn question. Okay. How the fuck am I gonna forget the passing of Scott Hall? And that was exactly where I was gonna say. That Scott, is, that Hall. is exactly what I was gonna say. Scott Hall, no figure four. You know what? I, you know, I don't you, know about you, that. No, one. you know, know you know what, Brian? You can kiss my ass, all right, son? <laughs> fuck you, okay? Yes, okay. I said it. I don't know about that. God, I hope. I'm a I'm not, no, I know what he's talking I know. about. Me, me too. Me too. Put him in the <laughs> freaking put finger four. God, God, I hope. <laughs> That shit, that shit hurt, damn it. That move freaking hurts. I might try to put that in a figure four. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> asshole. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, that was, no, that's, Scott Hall that's was... That's actually what I was good at. To me... <laughs> my mom! <laughs> um, to me, to me... Um, 
Scott Hall started the Attitude Era, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You know, anybody can fucking disagree. I don't care. That's their opinion. That's my opinion. That's everybody's opinion. Okay, we get it. <laughs> Got it. Um, but it was tough, man, when he passed. That one hurt everybody. That hurt. I'm about to say it. Even my stepdad is not really big of a wrestling fan, but I guess back at his time, he grew up watching mm-hmm. Scott Hall. So Razor Ramon. It even, you know, it hurt a lot. It hurt, a, like, it hurt wrestling fan. It hurt people that were wrestling fans. Like yeah. People that weren't big on wrestling. He, or it, not anymore. But what, it's like, that's a good he, way to put it. He planted the seed. He did. He planted mm-hmm. the seed. Boop. Here, time see, to grow. Let's this go. Is, this happened like when I got older. So back, so as I started getting older, is when I learned more about Scott Hall. So that death was probably the most shocking to me because I really wasn't around at the time where all yeah, of these deaths it cut happened. Different. Scott exactly. Hall's death cut different. Well, Misawa, really... Misawa was also shocking when he died in the ring due to a certain move I believe that was done. Misawa? A Japanese wrestler was also shocking. Uh, uh, I know oh, somebody he, who did die in the ring, but it was like because Rey Mysterio. Like, it was, was uh, uh, Pedro Agua. Uh, uh, mm. I think like Rey Mysterio tries to do something on him. Agu- his Aguayo? Next, his something like that? Yeah. On the, yeah. On he, the ropes. He, on the ropes and he died right he there. He died on instantly. Yeah, yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. Bradley yeah. says his was Owens because it was, it was on TV. Well, like I said, you know, I wasn't around when these things happened. Mm-hmm. So when I found out that Scott Hall passed away, I'm like, whoa, like, yeah. this is crazy because I was actually old enough to... Understand? Yeah, Rey Mysterio game. was trying to perform CPR. Oh, it was it was sad. It yeah. was sad the way he went. Like you you guys fail to understand. Many people they they during the Moon Dog Moon Dog uh, Moon Dog. He, I I forgot the wrestler's name. It was an old school wrestler named Moon Dog. Um, he was in the middle of the ring. Mm-hmm. As he was fighting, he started to have a heart attack. As he was fighting. Whoa. Like it, it is that's you be scary. That's scary. That is very scary to have scary. while you're on the while you're in the ring. It's very scary. You know, but uh hey, what are you gonna do? You know, these things Eddie happen. Guerrero hit me hard. I heard about it at work and I was dang. So I was fucked up. Yeah, no, that was that was a tough one, man. That was a tough one. But um to me, another one that kinda hit home. Moondog Main, yes, Moondog Main. Um the one that hit home, that he died the very next day, the Ultimate Warrior. The uh, Ultimate Warrior did a massive speech on Monday Night Raw. Kind of like he knew his time was gone. Maybe, he was going to die. Maybe he That's what it felt like. Maybe. And then the next day he dies of a heart attack. Maybe. I don't think he knew exactly what his cause of death was, but he probably didn't know his time was coming up soon. No, that was good. That was chilling. Yeah, it's chilling. That was bone chilling. That yeah. one. But it's tough to say, man. Like to me, I don't. I don't know. It's it's tough to call which one was my most shocking. My, the, my was, most shocking was definitely either that one, the warrior one, or uh, uh, Scott Hall's. Those two were definitely the only most many. There's, there's Chris Candido. There's uh, Rosie I- Iona, like from Roman Reigns' brother. You know what I mean? There was there's Umaga too. I wasn't expecting Umaga to pass away. He called like a double. Yeah. Man. He called a double yo. Man. Talk about coincidence. He gave his iconic speech and then he's gone. gone. Exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. That's bone chilling, man. Yeah, that's wild. That that's that's got to be probably one of my uh That'd be scary. One of my you Crash Holly too also died. Like many big boss man, like many of these big people, like man. yeah, yeah, like it was just crazy. A like, lot of people, man. A lot of people. Like, <sighs> I don't even know where to continue. Like, there's so many that that are surprising and that. Oh man, Andre the Giant, the legend. But. It's a damn shame, man, that it's a certain wrestlers have to die in a certain circumstances and some die of natural causes. Well, like I said, you know, bam, earlier, bam, Bigelow, the motorcycle earlier, wreck. Like I said earlier, you know, sometimes, sometimes people yeah. die before. Too many gone, and, but but not forgotten. Not forgotten. Yep, course, not forgotten. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely not forgotten. You still absolutely. hear about them, about the big boss mans and the big John Studs and uh, Bobby Eaton's, the Pillmans, like. Even Brody Lee. 
Brody Lee was a, was one of the most shocking as well. That actually, so sudden. No, that really shocked me too. Brody, Brody Lee, Lee was, was shocking. I wasn't expecting that one. Brody, Brody Lee, Lee was a tough one. Brody Lee definitely. Piper. Oh, Piper. Oh. Piper. Jimmy Snooker. No, yep, Jimmy Snooker. Jimmy Snooker. Me too, Jimmy Snooker. He, I think he was taking like a picture. He took a picture or something like I think like a few hours yeah. before. Yeah. And then after that, you know, he perished. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our time is up here on Evolution of Pro Wrestling. Thank you for joining us. Um, we appreciate my partner over here joining us, even though he was a little under the weather. Hopefully, he didn't get me sick. Uh, <laughs> uh, we appreciate you fans joining us. China. China was also China. one that was uh, definitely caught off guard. Um, but thank you for joining us, fans. Please feel free to follow us on Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, I don't feel like Twitter, and TikTok. Look right here, right here. Boom, yeah. bing, bing, dingy, dingy, like dingy. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel on Evolution of Pro Wrestling. Um, in the following show, we are going to have the uh, a very interesting question that my son brought up, my partner, that brought to my attention. Oh, yeah. What if Vince McMahon never owned WWE needs a shirt now. Yep. Oh, we got you. We're going to work on... I'm telling you, we're working on merchandise, brother. We got you. We got you. We're a man of our word. But what if Vince McMahon wasn't the owner? Would the attitude ever have happened? Would Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania would have been born? Would there be a WrestleMania? Would there be a WrestleMania? There would there be a Royal Rumble? Would there, would there be a Survivor Series? Would there be anything? We need to find that out and so much more on our next show on Evolution of Pro Wrestling. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. Fuck it.